our losers finals match between Why So Serious and Cake. This is the revenge match from the first round of this tournament, with Cake soundly defeating Why So Serious five to zero on Battle on the Dunes. Let's see how they do on this much more close quartered map. What builds they decide to bring, what strategies they decide to employ. But first off, we have the ship builds for Red Team. Why so serious? We have seriously Firelock, a Spire piloted by Owie Fox. It is a Lumberjack Spire. Front Artemis, left side Light Flag, right side Flamethrower, their ally. Bloodshot Raven, taking a little bit of a tactical bump off that terrain there. That one, that second one, not so tactical, but <laughs> Watcha Fish piloted by Miki, like Leon Hearts. Uh, Watcha, left side Gatling, right side Flamethrower. And their opponents already engaging them. We have Cake. First, we have Inkjet piloting Aspire, the Sun. It's a Watch Aspire. Front Gatling, right side Gatling, left side Banshee, and their ally, the SS Mary Poppins. Another Watch of Fish piloted by Tiberius the Third. Left side Gatling gun, right side Gatling gun. Uh, it's interesting that Firelock has decided to bring this long range build. Uh, to this Canyons match. Although it's actually uh, being that Lumberjack being put in the good effect here, taking down the Mary Poppins balloon, actually sinking them at this fight, letting the Bloodshot Raven get any even engagement with the sun, but it seems that even engagement is going in the favor of the Blue Spire, so ooh, nice watch of Barrage coming out. Take out the watch on the Goldfish, the Gatling. Uh, going to be taking down the whole armor very quickly. Ooh, Rams! The sun, the sun's right up in your face, man. Better put on your shades because those UV rays, those UV rays, man. Oh, that double Gatling. Man, once those double Gatlings get in the range, it means the target's not going to have, pretty much not going to have whole armor ever, which is kind of an issue, especially for the Firelock, which does not have very much weaponry designed for close range. So they've got to back up here. Uh, I feel like, oh, all armor going down. Watcha coming in, doing a, a fair bit of damage to the Seriously Firelock. Taking down all their guns, but thankfully not taking out any engines. But I feel like they are still not going to escape. Uh, yeah, the sun... Like, the Watcha seems much more suited to this kind of map, especially... Considering, like, maybe if red sometimes this is one of those maps that you can play as a, a, cons a more conservative sniping play style, you actually see that these spawn zones are very large. The canyons really only take up about this, like, the center third of the map. So, if blue team or in this case, a red team with their lumberjack spire decide to take it like kind of a, a farther back position. From the canyons, they can maybe put in a little bit of work with the lumberjack, but as it is, they're going straight into uh, into the canyon area where the lumberjack might not be so effective. Uh, they do have some close range ammunitions for that gun. They have the grease, they have the lock. The lock will one shot a balloon at point blank range, so, you know, not all is lost, but. Um, like, they're going to have difficulty getting armor strips. They have that light flak for killing. They have the Artemis for disable, but they don't really have a nice hole stripping weapon to pair with those with that light flak. Uh, Flamethrower does an okay job, but it's uh, a slow burn, as one might say. So, Red Team being a little pensive after the previous engagement, but they are, it looks like they are going to move into the canyons a bit slowly. Blue team, on the other hand, they're sitting at the canyon exit to their spawn. They're waiting for red team. I mean, sure, surely red would not take the same path straight through the canyons into blue's spawn that they did last time because we see here blue team is waiting here with open arms. So it would behoove them to maybe go, a, you know, they're really, there are kind of three main paths through this map. There's a center path which we saw them take last game, and that's the fastest way to go from red spawn to blue spawn. Then there's both a western pass and an eastern pass. 
that let you kind of move into the opposing spawn at an angle rather than directly in. Uh, and you see red red's going a little it's just not full west, but uh they are moving to a slightly westerly uh position. They're probably gonna poke out with the goldfish a little bit, try to get some spots, get an idea of where blue team is. And once they get that spot, they'll know blue team was waiting for them, and this was a, a good call being a little more pensive, a little more conservative about their forward forward pushing. Uh, I'm not sure if Bloodshot Raven has gotten any spots le uh, yet. I think Firelock may have seen blue team, so they. I think uh, Why So Serious knows where blue is. Uh, but Blue might not be aware of where Why So Serious is, because they have not moved one inch. And yeah, they finally see the Bloodshot Raven. Mary's popping, popping that Phoenix Claw, turning around. And yeah, the Bloodshot Raven is immediately engaged with the entire Cake team. Firelock's going to take a few seconds. Mm, excuse me. Take a few seconds uh, before that Lumberjack starts coming into effect. But... Bloodshot Raven being a goldfish, it's very fast, very maneuverable. They're going to be able to uh, probably pull back, get out of there pretty quickly before they take any real damage. So now uh, the sun has taken this opportunity to go for the seriously fire lock and close the distance here. The sun, they know they have the superior uh, close range firepower, especially with those dual Gatlings. Gee, just, uh, <laughs> just melting the armor. A few Banshee shots coming out a little late, not doing uh, much permanent damage to the Firelock. But if this Watcha, if we get a nice well-timed Watcha, ooh, just barely finishing them off with a nice little tap of their nose. And now the Bloodshot Raven left on their own. The sun's about to impale them. Dual Gatling coming in, taking out the whole armor. Watcha coming in for the kill shot. Uh, nice work. Uh, dual tanking the whole armor of the Bloodshot Raven, not actually killing them, but this second hole break with uh, combined with the following Banshees will take them down. And so far, trending towards Cake, they've proven they've had a strong... Uh, Strong performance at long range, and now a uh, strong performance at close range. It's kind of going to be a mountain for a red team to climb here. Given that blue's on match point, they're going to have to do f two full team wipes and then get a fifth kill. Like this is this is a really a real tough spot to be in if you're why so serious. So maybe if we take a look at the spire that red team is bringing, I don't know what, like they need to find much like in, uh, the game we just saw actually with cake on the other side of this, but they need to find a place where they can get a little bit more of a sniping range. Because what they have is a Lumberjack. And that Lumberjack needs to put out a little bit of consistent fire, a little bit of fire. It needs to knock out the balloons of one of the blue ships before, before the full-on engagement starts. Because if the Firelock takes a Watch of Volley and only gets out like one or two Lumber shots, then they're totally disabled and they've done nothing. So they just they need to, I don't know, find a nice angle where they can figure out where blue team is holed up and get a balloon kill before, uh, let's say, before Bloodshot Raven goes in and starts a full-on fight, because otherwise they're just going to have such a big advantage, and they're not leveraging the disable power of the Lumberjack, because the Lumberjack is not uh, a weapon. It's a weapon that takes a little, kind of a little bit of time to really come into effect. You know, you need to get... If they're using charge, you need to get three shots. If they're using lesmoc, uh, it needs to be a full clip. And that takes a little bit of time to, to kind of fire off. Blue team still in this position. It looks like they've gotten a little bit of fed up. Uh, they're kind of probably feeling themselves at this point, considering they totally dominated the last two engagements. So they're going to move in. 
they want to maybe force the issue for red and just kind of make this happen. They're eager to get back to the grand finals uh, for their rematch against Clan Clan. Uh, so, hmm, interesting. They've actually taken sort of a position in center map. They've stopped moving. The two ships are pointing in opposite directions. Maybe just trying to get a feeling of where red team, where their movement is. And Sun's about to see a uh, Bloodshot Raven, so they'll have a they'll excuse me they'll know exactly where the red team is. You actually see them turning a little bit, so it's clear that they've been spotted. And they know Red's going through the Eastern Pass. Although this might be a situation, Sun's a little bit exposed. This might be an opportunity for the uh, seriously Firelock to put that Lumberjack into effect, taking down the Balloon of the Sun, taking down the whole armor. They're actually dropping. They're taking a little bit of fire from the Huacha uh, and some Artemis. Uh, the sun's actually kind of in a bad spot here. They have to duck down and take cover. Uh, the balloon being knocked out is going to help with that. In the meantime, Mary's Poppin is going to get to Poppin the Seriously Firelock because they want to take that that Lumberjack out of the equation, and they know they have the superior close-range firepower with that Lion Gun. Oh, and Seriously Firelock is actually in a bad spot here. Somehow they've lost their balloon. I'm not quite sure, but it's actually... Oh, gee. Oh, oh boy. Oh, I need a... Oof. They've actually somehow stranded themselves on that little rocky outcropping. It just gets smashed into the canyon. Oh, man. Maybe I should have set this, uh, this stream to 18+. plus. That was not something children should see. But a decisive, another decisive victory for Cake against Wysocerius.